गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई क्लास दिस इज द थर्ड क्लास विच आई हैव कंडक्टेड इन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन सोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव सॉल्व मेनी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इन दिस एंड इन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड क्लास आई हैव गिवेन सम होमवर्क इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट डिस्कस द होमवर्क आई आई होप यू हैव सॉल्व दैट होमवर्क आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट uh discussing one by one homework and we have to check the homeworks okay okay let's start the homeworks that was uh, given in the first video in that one the first question i have given is this one i hope you have noted this question the question is a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day the cost of a production of each toy in rupees was found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day so on a particular day the total cost of production was rupees 750 we would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day uh, the question is what uh, there is a cottage industry uh, that produces a toys number of toys in a day and the cost of production that means the number of production uh, the cost of production means uh, the production cost means the amount spent on uh, each toy is equals to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day that means whatever the toys produced on that day and if you subtract 55 from that then that is the cost uh, that is equal to the cost of production right so on a particular do the day the total cost of production was 750 now uh, you have to you have to find out the number of toy produced in a day okay let's check the solution so let the number of toys produced on that day be x that mean the total number of toy uh, that was produced on that be x so the cost of production is what as per the question that is 55 minus x right if we subtract this x from 55 then that is equal to the cost of production in rupees right therefore the cost of production in rupees uh, of each toy is 55 minus x and the total cost of production that day that is number of uh, uh, toys produced into cost of production that is x into 55 minus x and it is given 750 in the question therefore x x into 55 minus x equals to 750 right if you solve this one this this can be written as uh, x into 55 is 55x and x into minus x is minus x square that is equals to 700 and if you solve this one then it can be written as x square minus 55x plus 750 equals to 0 Okay, therefore the number of toys produced that day satisfies the quadratic equation, and it is equals to x square minus 55x plus 750 equals to zero. Hope you all are also get the same answer. If you have not got, then solve it again. Okay, next homework that uh, I was given in the first uh, video is uh, this one. Check whether the following are quadratic equation or not. Okay, you have given uh, many expressions, and you have to identify whether the expressions are quadratic equations or not. So let go one by one. The first one is what x plus one whole square plus two into x minus three. To expand it and uh, write in a standard form and compare it with the standard form of quadratic equation that is x square plus b x plus c, right? If you see the first one. X plus one whole square can be written as x square plus two x plus one, and two uh, into x minus one can be written as two x minus six. And if you simplify, you will get x square uh, plus seven equals to zero, or you can write x square plus zero x plus seven equals to zero. Okay, that is of the form x square plus b x plus c. That means this is a quadratic equation. Now second one, if you simplify the second one. You will get x square minus four x plus six, which is of the form x square plus b x plus c. That means this is also a quadratic equation. Similarly, third one, if you solve this one, this is equals to three x minus one. Here, three x minus one is not of the form a x square plus b x plus c. Therefore, this is not a quadratic equation, but it is a linear equation. Okay, next. Fourth one x minus three into two x plus one equals two x into x plus five. On simplifying this, we will get x square minus ten x minus three, and it is very clear that it is of the form a x square plus b x plus c. Hence, the given equation is a quadratic equation. Then move to the next one. 
that is question number fifth that is uh, fifth 2x minus 1 into x minus 3 equals to x plus 5 into x minus 1 if you simplify this one then you will get x square minus 11 x plus 8 hope you all are getting that one and it is a quadratic equation because it satisfied ax square plus bx plus c similarly sixth one if you simplify this one you will get 7x minus 3 equals to 0 so very clear as 7x minus 3 equals to 0 is not a quadratic equation as it is a linear equation because the degree of x is 1 here highest degree next seventh one x plus 2 whole cube equals to 2x in the bracket x square minus 1 here the left hand side is 2 x plus 2 whole cube uh, you have to expand this by using the formula of a plus b whole cube and that is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube okay so, uh, by applying that formula if you expand x plus 2 equals to whole cube it is equals to x cube plus x x square plus 12x plus 8 and that is equals to 2x cube minus 2x if you simplify this one you will get x cube minus 6x square minus 14x plus 8 it is very clear here the degree of the equation is 3 therefore it is not a quadratic equation now the last one is x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 and the right hand side is x minus 2 whole cube if you expand x minus 2 whole cube it is equals to x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 8 Therefore, in left hand side x cube is there and right hand side also there is x cube. Therefore, x cube is x cube, x cube and x cube is cancel out. Therefore, the given expression can be converted as 2x square minus 13x plus 9 equals to 0. So, this is an equation of type x square plus bx plus c. Therefore, it is a quadratic equation. Hope you all understood this one. Okay, moving to the homework that is given in the video number 2 or class number 2 okay these are these are the questions which i have given as homework in class number 2 okay first question is find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equation if the real root exist and find them if the real root exists then find them yeah, first of all you have to find the nature of the roots nature of the roots uh, can be determined uh, when yeah, we are going to find the value of d d means discriminant for that we are going to use the formula b square minus 4ac okay if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then we can say that real and equal roots and if it is greater than 0 that means if d is positive then roots are uh, real and unequal and if it is less than 0 then roots are uh, roots are imaginary and unequal okay so let's do one by one if you solve the first one 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to 0 first question if you find the value of d here the value of a is 2 the value of b is minus 3 and the value of c is 5 if you find uh, if you find d that is b square minus 4ac it will come minus 31 and that is less than 0 that means no real roots are there hence there is no real roots of this quadratic equation that means we are not going to solve this one if real root exists then only and then you have to find the roots otherwise you have to just write no real roots are possible okay then second is 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equals to 0 in this one the value of a is 3 the value of uh, b is minus 4 root 3 and the value of c is 4 if you find d that is b square minus 4 ac then you will get 0 very clear if d is 0 then the roots are real and equal and you have to find the roots by using factorization method also or you can use formula method also so here i am using formula method and that is given by minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a okay therefore if you substitute the values and if you find the value of uh, roots will become 2 root 3 upon 3 and 2 root 3 upon 3 as the roots are equal therefore both the values are 2 root 3 upon 3 clear next 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equals to 0 here the value of a is 2 the value of b is minus 6 and the value of c is 3 therefore the value of d is minus 6 whole square minus 4 into 2 into 3 that is 36 minus 24 and that is equals to 12 and that is greater than 0 right 
if the value of d is greater than 0 then the roots are roots are real and unequal that means there are two roots and that are real and that are different different roots to apply the formula uh, formula method x is minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a substitute the value of b and uh, v d and a and find the value of x if you substitute the value you will get the first value as 3 plus root 3 upon 2 and the second one is 3 minus root 3 upon 2 clear moving to the next question that is question number second question number second in that one solution of the first one in this one you have to find the value of k and it is given that uh, it is given that the roots are equal right if the roots are equal that means uh, the discriminant is 0 discriminant is 0 means the value of b square minus 4ac equals to 0 so in the given case the value of a is 2 the value of b is k and the value of c is 3 therefore b square minus 4ac equals to k square minus 24 and k square minus 24 equals to 0 if we take 24 to that side then it is equals to plus 24 if we take minus 24 to that side then it is equals to plus 24 therefore k square equals to 24 therefore k equals to square root of 24 and if you find the square root then it will come it will come in uh, positive also and negative also therefore the value of k is plus minus 2 root 6 similarly you can solve the second one also in second case uh, the expression is given that is uh, kx into x minus 2 plus 6 if we observe the second uh, equation it is not in the standard form of quadratic equation so first of all we have to convert that into the standard form that means if we have to open the bracket if we open the bracket then that k x is multiplied with x also and multiplied by 2 also so k x into x equals to k x whole square and k x minus 2 is minus 2 x 2 k x equal uh, plus 6 equals to 0 now if we compare it with a standard form of quadratic equation then the value of a is k and the value of b is minus 2k and the value of c is 6 therefore b square minus 4ac equals to minus 2k whole square minus 4 into k into 6 equals to 4k square minus 24k and it is equals to 0 and uh, if you solve this one you will get the value of k as 0 and the value of k as 6 but k is not equal to 0 as it does not satisfy the equation therefore k equals to 6 got it then move to the question number 3 question number 3 it is given that you have to you have to frame a rectangular mango group whose length is twice its breadth and if the area is 800 meters square if it is possible find the length and breadth so let the breadth of the mango group be x and the length is double of x therefore length will be 2x and the uh, area of rectangle is length into breadth therefore x into 2x is 2x square according to the question 2x square is given uh, uh, that means uh, area is given uh, 800 therefore 2x square equals to 400 therefore x equals to plus minus 20 so length uh, cannot be negative therefore x equals to 20 and uh, 2x equals to 40 that means the breadth will be 20 meter and the length will be 40 meter clear then question number four that is the second last question in is the following situation possible again you have to check whether the situation is possible or not if possible determine the present ages here it is given the sum of the age of two friend is 20 that means the age of two friend sum of two age that means the age uh, the sum of first the sum of first friend the, the sum of the age of first friend plus the sum of the age of second friend will be 20 year four year ago the product of their ages in years was 48 so let the age of the first friend be x so it is very clear the age of the second friend will be 20 minus x now four year ago if we are moving uh, four year ago then the age of the first friend will be x minus 4 and the age of the second friend will be 20 minus x minus 4 that is 16 minus x now it is given that the product of the ages now equals to 48 that means x minus 4 into 16 minus x equals to 48 if you simplify this one you will get x square minus 20x plus 112 equals to 0 now if you solve this one by formula method 
then uh, you will get the value of dh minus 48 which is less than 0 that means no real roots are possible therefore this situation is not possible in this case this situation is not possible the values are not coming in real numbers that's why it is not possible then question number five is it possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter 80 meter and area is 400 meter again you have to check whether the given case is possible or not okay let's check it is given that uh, area of rectangular park sorry uh, rectangular park of perimeter 80 perimeter is given 80 and area is 400 so let the length be x and the perimeter be 80 if the length be x and perimeter be 80 then the breadth will be 40 minus x by applying the formula perimeter equals to 2 length plus breadth if you substitute 80 equals to 2 into x plus breadth so first of all we have to divide perimeter by 2 so perimeter by 2 perimeter is 80 divided by 40 therefore length plus breadth equals to 40 therefore breadth equals to uh, 40 minus length therefore 40 minus x that means the length of the field is x and the breadth of the field will be 40 minus x and the area is 400 if you multiply length by breadth then we will get the area of a rectangle therefore x into 40 minus x equals to 400 therefore 40x minus x square equals to 400 therefore x square minus 40x plus 400 equals to 0 and if you simplify this one by using uh, splitting the middle term you can write it as x square minus uh, 40x can be split as minus 20x minus 20x x square minus 20x minus 20x plus 400 equals to 0 in first and second term x is common therefore inside there will be x minus 20 in uh, third and fourth minus 20 is common therefore inside there will be x minus 20 that means x minus 20 x minus 20 equals to 0 right that means x minus 20 whole square equals to 0 if we, uh, this second last step is wrong here here x minus 20 whole square equals to 0 therefore x minus 20 equals to 0 therefore x equals to 20 hence the length will be 20 and the breadth, will, breadth of the park is 40 minus 20 that is 20 okay here the uh, uh, third last step is uh, wrong ignore that one right and rest of the solution are correct hope i hope all the solutions are clear now let us take some assignment questions and try to solve this question write the questions and try to solve this question Okay, I think uh, questions are written. Thank you very much. Meet you in the next class. Thank you all.